Greetings, we're gonna do 9-2 today. It's a pretty short section as far as things go. Not a whole lot to write, but let's just jump on in. So I wanna start out looking at a number line. So we did number line stuff yesterday in 9-1. And we said that on a number line, we said that the bigger numbers are always on the right. And the further right you go, the bigger numbers get. Smaller numbers are on the left, and the further left you go, the smaller numbers get. So that's our first line here. I'm gonna put it in red for dramatic emphasis. Larger numbers are always on the right, so on the right, on a number line. And you can throw in a period if you so desire. So one way that you could do it, a lot of these like two and five, you're saying, hey, which one's bigger? You know it's gonna be the five. But if you're ever not sure, especially when you start getting negatives in there, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. You just say, well, where are they on a number line? So if you have two and five, two is here, five is there. Since the bigger numbers are over here, five has to be bigger. And if you have a 7 and a 3, well for that we have a 7 right there, we have a 3 right there. So the 7 has to be the bigger number of those two. Then if we have a 0 or 1, that's probably the last one that's going to be super super easy, but you have the 0 right there and the 1 right there. So the 1 is on the right, so it is bigger. And I probably should actually go back and say bigger numbers and smaller numbers, just in case you don't have that down in your brain from the 9-1 notes. Now when you start getting some negatives, the same sort of thing is going to be true there with those negatives. So I have a negative 1 right here, and I have a 3 right there. So the one that has to be larger than has to be the 3. So I could go back and erase those. So the 3 is going to be the larger one. If I were to have the negative 3 and the 0, so if I do that, I have negative 3 is here and 0 is there. The larger one then has to be my 0, so I could circle the 0. And last but not least, the double negative is going to mess some people up. If I have a negative 5, so I didn't erase that one, but I have a negative 5 and I have a negative 1. So of those two that are in blue, the bigger one is the negative one. And that's the thing that messes some people up because they want to look at it as though the five is a bigger number. But because the negative one is on the right, negative one is bigger. Negative five is more negative, but that tends to make it smaller. Or that doesn't tend to, it makes it smaller. All right, this next thing, if we were to go and have a number line here, we looked at vertical number lines yesterday, and essentially we just saw that they're a number line that's going to be twisted to the right. So if you have a normal number line like this here, if you take and twist it around that way, it's going to give you your vertical number line. So if we had bigger numbers over here, you're going to get the same sort of thing. So this I would write in, the bigger numbers are going to be higher up, and smaller numbers are down below. So these here, I slurped this out of the book, it's going to be the depths of different mines. And if we're going to do the smallest to the biggest, we have to start down there at the bottom. So the smallest is going to be the western deep. So western deep. And then we really just kind of work our way up. Like on a number line, you'd work left to right. Uh, so then we have the Boxburg, and then the Kohler, and then the Nova Lima. And then that is all. And maybe point out, well, if you're trying to quick write all those down, that we start out negative because the mine would be zero would be like ground level. So they're all going to be negative because they're all digging into the ground. All right. Last one here. Put cities in order from coldest to warmest. If you struggle, you could go through and make a number line and say, all right, I need to go from negative 20 to positive 20, and then you could put a zero in the middle, and you could put the cities on there. But typically, you just look for what's the biggest negative number, and that would be that right there. So our coldest is going to be Fairbanks, Alaska. And then our next coldest, maybe we should do a semicolon because we have the comma right there. The next one would be our only other negative. So right there we have Bismarck. North Dakota, and the next would be zero right in the middle. Duluth, awesome city, great bookstore. Actually, a couple
couple days ago, I just broke a cup I got from a restaurant in Duluth. One of my favorite two cups. Okay, then last thing, the only one that's left is our positive would be Albany, New York. Albany, New York. All right, and like I said, you could use a number line to check your answer. You could put them on there. And you turn the page, you'll see that, and you're like, ah! You know, it's all written out for me because you get the exact same answer. Just right there is the first one, then the second, then the third, and then the fourth. So that's it for the section. Let me know if you have questions. I'd be glad to help you. In theory, that's what we covered. And uh, life is good.